What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, it's finally morning time here in good old Goldenrod City. Look, it's golden. It's golden. And, uh, yeah, in our last episode, we managed to take a small tour of this whole area right here, and now it is finally time to go and train just a little bit more, because, you know, one of the biggest mistakes that trainers make is go off and battle the gym leader if they don't have a fighting type Pokemon. Which, clearly, we don't have. So, we're gonna go up north here of Goldenrod, and uh, before we do anything, talk to this gentleman. He's like, excuse me, kid, can you do a guy a favor? Sure. Can you take this uh, Pokemon with mail to my friend? He's on Route 31. So it must be that big old dude that's uh, falling asleep next to that cherry tree or something. I don't know. I'll say yes. It's like, you will? Perfect. Thanks, kid. My pal's a, a chubby guy who snoozes out all the time. You'll recognize him right away. And as you can see, we got ourselves a Pokemon with the mail. You can read it, but you uh, but don't lose it. Route 31. Oh yeah, there was a weird tree block in the road. I wonder if it has been cleared. Hmm. So the Pokemon that we got is uh, a Spiro. As you can see, his name is Kenya, or her, or yeah, his name is Kenya. And uh, well, it's got a flower mail. It has Peck and all that stuff, and. Uh, well, I really don't, I don't really need this Pokemon. I don't, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we can take a look at the mail right here. He's like, Dark Cave leads to another road. Love Randy. Not Love Randy, but you, you guys know what I mean. So, we gotta move on right here. Um, talk to this lady. Strange tree is blocking the road. It wiggles around if you talk to it. I heard it, beca it became, or became wild when someone watered it with a squirtle bo bottle. Or a squirt bottle, or squirtle bottle. I don't even know. And this guy's like, I wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. Three years ago, po uh, Professor Oak said that there were at least 150 different kinds. Oh, you didn't know about that one Pokemon that I captured, you know, the 151. So here we are in Route 35. There's a few trainers right here, and I almost got caught in the, cross uh, the, the, the crossfire right here. And we are going to start with Cinder first, because, you know... We, we got to start off strong, so let's go. Bring it on, lady. This lady right here is like, are you going to the gym? Me too. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this. So here we have Picnicker Kim, and she wants to battle with a Vulpix. And wow, this could have been another, uh, this could have been another lucky uh, thing. But you know what? I got quick attack. Still, we got to start off strong. Look at that. And there's that Ember attack. Doesn't do us any, any, any bad damage or anything like that. Like 2 HP. So we're going to be smart about this and quick attack the crud out of this Vulpix. Oh my god. And there's that Roar attack that we've been dreading, I guess. And uh, Toxic Batman is out on the field. Let's go with that Bite attack. So we all get experience points right there. Look at that. Everybody's getting experience points. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, I couldn't win. Yeah, you, you really couldn't. Okay, let's uh, switch it up. Now, Toxic Batman and Lucky are really close to evolving. So, I think I should make it uh, a point to actually get them both to, uh, to evolve. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna embarrass you in front of your girlfriend. How, how's that? I am going to embarrass you, annihilate you. So here we have Camper Elliot with this sand true. And wow. Okay. Bring it. Let's go, Lucky. Let's go with that mud slap. Or I should have gone with the water gun, right? I should have gone with that water gun. Yeah, but you know, it, it's accuracy fail. So let's go again. Yeah, Karma's a you know what? He just did the same thing. So here we go with the water gun. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. You should have beaten him right there. Ah, oh, you suck. You suck, Sandshrew. I like to say Sandshrew like that because, you know, it reminds me of AJ. Sandshrew, let's go scratch attack. Come on, water gun. Sandshrew, sand attack again. You suck. Come on. Defense girl, Sandshrew. I hate you. You're not hot stuff. Look at that. Water gun. Eat it. Eat it. Look at that. Yeah, hot stuff, whatever. My butt 
So here he comes out with the Meryl. So I gotta switch this guy out. So let's go with Teddy right here. Meryl, go! And as we all know, we thought that was Pika Blue. Who in the heck came up with that name? Pika Blue. Who? Let's go with the headbutt. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, there's that rollout attack that we could, we we could potentially face when we take on uh, Whitney. But here's that headbutt again. And uh, yeah, there's no place like home. There's no place like home for that Meryl. Teddy grows to level 17. Yes, everything's progressing well. And this guy's like, I wish you would have have. I wish you would have lost for me. I'm not gonna lose in front of. I'm not gonna lose. Jackknob. I wish I was humiliated in front of my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little do you know, she doesn't like it because you got a small you know what. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Okay, so let's switch it up again right here. And let's see what this girlfriend says about this boyfriend right here. She's like, my boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. <laughs> told you. I told you, bud. She thinks you got a small pee-pee. So, here we go. Brooke wants the battle. And she's coming out with her Pikachu. Okay, so I made the right, somewhat of the right choice, I guess. And there's that Cinder. Cinder with Ember. Cinder will win. Oh, come on. You know, I really wish I would have came out with like Pikachu right here in the Johto. Wow! That's number three. That is three times we got paralyzed. What the F? So here we go. Amber attack. Look at that. Yes! Okay. You gotta love paralysis, man. That's three times already, god dang it. Okay, so what do you have to say now? It's like, I can count on my Pokemon more than my boyfriend. And dump is, you know what? Jesus. Okay, luckily we do have berries that can heal this up. And let's go back to Toxic Batman. Everybody's gonna get, gonna get some loving right here because, you know, I'm a very, very uh, generous person. And this guy's like, I've been getting Pokemon, or I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. Are you? Are you really? Alright, let's go. Here we go. We got Ivan coming out, and he's got himself a Diglett. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get some bite attack, I guess. Oh, look at that, critical hit. And you flinched. That's two for flinching, boy. Two for flinching. And there goes Diglett. Nothing, no, nothing uh, that Diglett can do. And coming out with that Zubat, I will be switching it up to Teddy. Let's go, Teddy. Let's do this. Do it for the teddy bears. All of the teddy bears. And, uh, well, headbutt, I guess, headbutt, look at that, headbutt attack, does its thing, right? Yes, it does its thing. That Zubat is not as strong as my Zubat, I'll tell you that. And, uh, we got one more Pokemon, and there's a Diglett, so let's go to Lucky. Come on, Lucky, let's do this. Do it for the, uh, do it for the, uh, do it for the, uh, the, uh, whooper, you know what's. You know what I'm trying to say. And there's that magnitude. Wow. Magnitude 10. That's that's a first. And that is very powerful right there. Here we have. Mm-hmm. Water gun. Please do not hit me with another magnitude 10. This guy hits me with 7. And uh, we're close to fainting. And luckily for us, I think we win. We win. Eat it. Just eat it. Yeah, that's right. Ivan, you've been defeated, homeboy. There's no place like home for you. I give. Whew. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here, because uh, why not? Let's see. Oh, yeah, off screen we got ourselves a Leaf Stone from uh, that Picnicker at Route 34. She's pretty nice. Um, there's a Super Potion, and uh, let's give that to Lucky, because we're still going to be using him. And... Uh, well, let's see. Speaking of Lucky, let's go back. Let's switch him up. Alright, let's do this. By the way, we still have that egg that we got over at the daycare. Still wondering what Pokemon it might be. It says right here, what? wonder what's inside. It needs more time, though. Okay. 
we're gonna give it a time and uh, well let's take on this guy first because I think he has fire type Pokemon by the way he said fire breathing it's gonna be, be this gonna only be one man and one man only yes fire breather Walt coming out with his magmar mr. butthead versus lucky all right all right at first you know I was actually being a little weary about lucky and its speed and how you know I just kept on getting his butt kick but now it's it, it looks like it's improving it's like absolutely taking charge right now as you can see it's putting up a decent fight especially with a very powerful Pokemon right here and that fire attack won't work mm -mm. No, oh come on jeez and that, that could have made him faint unfortunately we got burnt cuts our attack in half and wow another another fire attack when are you gonna learn homeboy another mud slap for that win goodbye bye bye and look at that lucky grows to level 18 we got two more levels to go I think I should do that like evolve him into a uh, into a uh, quagsire and just beat Whitney like that I don't know should be strong I don't know let's go with a mud slap and that smog attack will not do us anything come on oh geez maybe I should heal that burn I could do it and that fire punch misses here we go water gun attack oh my god you're almost there <laughs> got one more water gun attack and that smog will not poison us but it will hit us it'll hurt us some some and well only took one HP wow finish it off for that win yes lucky you are becoming luckier if by the moment and uh, look at that. He's like, I want to scorch my t the tip of my nose. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to talk to you because you might give me your phone number and I don't need any more phone numbers. Okay. Is there anything that can heal this? No. Okay. So I think. Yeah. Okay. So Lucky is done for the day because, well, it's burned so let's go straight to our other Pokemon because we do have other Pokemon guys and uh, talks to Batman going up against this dude right here he's like behold my graceful ball dexterity really do you do you hear yourself okay let's go so here we have the perverted juggler Talking about his uh, balls and stuff. Juggler Irwin coming out with his Voltorb. And wow, I may have made a mistake. Maybe. Because it's at level 2. Oh, wait. I thought that was Toxic Batman. Never mind. Gonna destroy you with a teddy bear. Yeah. How does that feel? Doesn't feel so good. And I think this is the dude that has all Voltorb. But they just increase levels every single time. Level 6. Headbutt. Yeah, no problem for Teddy right here. Yeah, look at that. Keep it going. Keep it going. Voltorb again. Look at that. And, well, it's at level 10, so it's a lot faster. Now, now we're going to have, we're really going to have to work at this. And this guy is done for the day because, bam, headbutt. Coming out again with another Voltorb. I believe it's right around my level right here. Voltorb. Headbutt. No screech. Here's a headbutt. Bye bye Oh, man. Only Voltor Voltorb that, sur that survived. And, uh, well. There it is. That's right. Oh, my God. Almost grew to level 18 right there. Woo! Now that was a joke. Okay, that you 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 need to hear yourself. And of course, Mama's calling us. And she's like, "Hi, Draven. How are you? I found a useful shopping uh shopping item. I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's on your PC. You'll like it. Okay, alrighty. Now I just remembered something right here. I did. We could always go in here, and we could always heal our Pokemon like this." by depositing our Pokemon into the PC because why not and then getting them back of course yes there's my Oddish 
And I'm gonna get back Whooper or Lucky. So let's see if it got healed. Did it get healed? Does it work on this one? Yes, it does. It works in this one too. So as you can see, my my uh, Lucky, my Whooper has now is now fully healed by just going into the Pokemon or the PC. So no, it is not the end of uh, Lucky right here. I will explain about this area a little bit later on. But here we are back in Route 35. And you can actually find some interesting Pokemon right here. Nidoran, male and female, is one of them. You know, at one point I wanted to actually capture them both. One of them, and actually put them on my team. And I remembered, yeah, Thrasher. Had them in Pokemon Yellow. Never mind, and wow, I can't escape. Really? Oh god, it's a critical hit. Come on! Really? Oh god. Come on! You can't escape! Okay, this this Pidgey's pissing me off. It's having so many free hits, it won't let my my Lucky go away. So, I'm gonna harm it really, really bad. Okay, that... Okay. That's not good. Just die. Die already, Pidgey. There we go. So we healed up our Pokemon for no reason. And because of that, I am going to use a Repel. Use one of them Super Potions because why not? And... Okay, so nobody's gonna... Well, he has to battle us and he's like, I'll go any... I'll go anywhere if Bug Pokemon are here here. Oh, so we got a Bug Trainer. Never mind. Let's do this. So here we have Bug Trainer, uh, Bug Catcher Archie with his Venonat. His flashy ass bug, uh, or his flashy eyes po uh, Pokemon. And that Disable does not work, but here's that Mud Slap that you've been looking for. Alright, you're losing that accuracy. Let's finish it off with a Headbutt. Fail! That would have not made you fail. That's, that's the irony of that one right there. Here we go again, and uh, let's go with that Headbutt. Oh, come on. Could have beaten him right there. And, wow, just my luck. Just my luck right there. I get confused. This guy gets lucky. <laughs> oh, my God. This could not be. This could not be it. Oh, my God. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, we're at level 19. There we go, and, uh, well, oh, not Archie, Arnie. What kind of a name is Arnie? Huh, shouldn't have lost like that. Okay, whatever. So, let's talk to him. He's like, my Venonat won me a bug catching contest at the National Park. Do you feel, do you get the feeling there? There are more uh, rare Pokemon around? I'm positive there are, so I look all the time. If, if, if I find one, I want to share the good news with everyone I know. I know. Give me your phone number. No, I'm not getting your phone number. Fuck that. No. I've already gotten so many people's phone numbers. It's ridiculous. People that I don't need to talk to. Okay, before we battle that guy, let's grab this. TM04. Very good uh, attack, I think. Let me see. I gotta, I gotta remember what it is. Oh, it's rollout. Okay, so it is a very good move for my good old buddy uh my good old buddy a uh, uh, whooper or lucky and there is nothing right here so let's see what should we do i got to go back to cinder because cinder will do the the job right here so let's go let's do this what kind of balls do you use huh Somehow it got a little more vulgar right here. So here we go. We got ourselves a bug or a bird keeper Brian, and he's coming out with his uh, Bidgey. Okay, let's go. Ember attack. There we go. Bye bye. And well, oh, yeah. There we go. We got an evolved Pokemon, so we're gonna stick it up. We're gonna stick by it. We're gonna go with Cinder right here, and this is the first time we're seeing uh, Pidgeotto, and uh, it's not faster than us, but it's just you know it's Pidgeotto. It's a bird type. 
And uh, look at that. Takes more than its uh, HP, and this guy just hits us with one tackle attack. Let's finish him off with that ember. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Didn't like that, huh? And hello, level 22. Hmm. Alright, okay, so he's been defeated, and this guy's like, Yikes! Not so fast enough! Okay, alright, so let's see. Some Pokemon flee right away. Try catching them with Kurt's fastballs. Now, you're telling me this. Now, whenever I find a white apricorn, I take it to Kurt. He turns it into a, a custom ball. Wow, that would have worked out a lot more for Teddy Ursa, or Spinrack, or Fanfi. You know, those Pokemon that I caught off screen. Okay, so we're done battling these guys, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep on battle, or I'm gonna keep on training off screen. I. I still feel like we need a little bit more for my team before we even go up against Whitney's uh, Pokemon. Um, one thing that I might do is, I don't know, train my uh, my Wooper off screen and evolve it. But, you know, maybe you guys want to see that on screen. So, uh, I'll decide later on today whether or not to do that. So, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be battling Whitney and her Pokemon. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Beep.